Integrating a customer relationship management software into your business is a must in 2025. The problem is choosing the right CRM out of the hundreds of free and paid solutions available to small businesses. Each small business has its own unique processes for managing sales, customers, leads, tickets, and other customer-facing activities and workflows. So today, I've carefully handpicked my top five CRMs for small businesses. This is after using, building, and testing dozens of CRMs so you don't have to. My focus is to help you identify the right CRM software for your business as we move into 2025 and beyond. Okay, so with that quick note covered, let's dive into this complete CRM breakdown and guide. Firstly, it's important to note that each CRM I discussed today are in no particular order. I've also structured this comparative guide to highlight why I like the particular CRM, its key features, user friendliness and adoption, as well as what I dislike, the pricing, and what type of business will benefit using the CRM in focus. Also in the description below this video, I'll link dedicated tutorials that I've created for each of the CRMs that we're going to discuss today. All right, launching into my top five CRM solutions for small businesses and first on my list is Bing In. This is a lightweight and agile CRM by Zoho CRM. Essentially, Bing In is similar to Zoho CRM, but built for micro and small businesses. I like Bing In as it focuses more on a multi-dimensional solution that understands how all operations and teams in a business work together. Basically, Bing In does not just focus on sales, but all the customer-facing operations. In terms of key features that set Bing In apart, they unify different operations through custom pipelines lines that seamlessly work together like customer service, client onboarding, sales recruitment projects and more. Each of these pipelines can easily be connected together for automating workflows. Bingin allows you to easily manage multiple pipelines, contacts, companies, offerings, activities and more. Bingin is incredibly user-friendly and allows for a seamless team adoption. As you can see, Bingin has a minimalistic user interface that is easy to navigate through for all technical abilities. Now, what do I dislike about Bing In? Well, I have found that the syncing of emails causes issues and the issue of clear differentiation between contacts, leads, and customers. This is due to no dedicated pages for specific groups and the visual mapping is the same across all sections and pages of the CRM. Now, let's touch on pricing. Bing In offers a free plan for simple CRM related needs and then prices start from $7 per user per month, which is sufficient enough for most small businesses. I would recommend Bing In for small service based businesses that are looking to grow long term and focus less on sales and more on operational synergies across customer facing activities. Next, let's take a look at HubSpot CRM. HubSpot is a powerful and heavy duty CRM for all shapes and sizes of businesses. I like HubSpot as a multifaceted CRM and praise them for offering all the tools that you possibly need to run a business. I like the fact that all the tools they offer seamlessly integrate together. For example, you can build a free website with HubSpot and capture leads, customers, and even payments all connected together within HubSpot. Now let's have a look at HubSpot CRM's key features. You can build landing pages and email campaigns using the built-in block builder to capture leads and build your email list to then send email campaigns to. You also have unlimited options for managing your records and again as I mentioned you have access to all the business tools and features you can think of. Meaning that HubSpot could be your entire web or tech stack of business tools, no need to use other third-party applications, HubSpot can do it all. What about user adoption and its interface? Well, for the majority, HubSpot has an easy to use interface across all tools and features. However, it can become overwhelming with all the different activities you can engage in inside HubSpot. This is actually one of the things that I dislike about HubSpot is the sometimes overwhelming options and features. Also, from my experience and feedback from my clients, we have found that contact and list management can be confusing when it comes down to organizing records with properties, filters, and dynamic lists. Okay, let's shift into HubSpot pricing. HubSpot offers a completely free CRM for up to two users and access to most of their extensive tools and features. 
although you essentially have light access. For example, you can have only up to 1000 contacts, limited email campaigns, only one pipeline, and other limited features within each of their tools. Now, a popular plan for small businesses is the Starter Customer Platform for $15 per user per month, which essentially lifts many of the limitations that you have with the free plan. Okay, so what type of business would I recommend HubSpot to? I would typically advise businesses that are looking for an all-in-one platform that goes beyond CRM-related activities to give HubSpot a go. Businesses like consulting, coaching, and agencies operate well with HubSpot from my experience. Hey guys, just quickly, did you know that over 90% of you that enjoy our free educational content have not yet subscribed? It would mean a lot to me if you drop a comment or hit subscribe if you love what I'm creating. This helps us grow the channel and motivates me to create bigger and more impactful tutorials for you to consume for free. Okay, so with that happy note, thank you in advance, and let's get back to the video. Next on our list, we have Sheetify CRM. Now it's important to note that Sheetify CRM is a toolkit that my team and I built for small and micro businesses. So I'm a bit biased here, but I'm super happy with the CRM and the feedback that we have received. Sheetify CRM is one of three toolkits that we have created with Google Sheets and Apps Script. Our CRM offers dozens of features for only one lifetime price. What I like about Sheetify CRM is this spreadsheet interface accompanied with essential CRM tools and features that interconnect with all your favorite Google apps, allowing Google users to get the most out of either a free or paid Google account. Key features we built into Sheetify CRM include the ability to manage contacts, leads, and customers in one interface. You can also manage your sales pipeline, inventory tickets, transactions, tasks, and even engage in email marketing all through a familiar looking spreadsheet interface. In terms of user friendliness and adoption, those that are familiar with Google Sheets or spreadsheets in general will love the visual elements to Sheetify. However, equally, those that hate lists or spreadsheets will not like Sheetify CRM. Now, getting started adopting and implementing Sheetify CRM is very easy for most users. It only takes three small steps to set up the CRM. However, learning how to get the most out of Sheetify will take watching our 20 minute CRM tutorial and additional time understanding the entire toolkit. Now, what do I dislike about Sheetify CRM? Firstly, this CRM only works for those that use Google, either a free or paid Google Workspace account. Next to this, when it comes to customizations, you are limited unless you have experience with Google Sheets and App Script. All right, what about pricing? Well, we have kept the pricing simple, just $67 before discounts. This is a one-time payment for lifetime access, updates, and all tools and features. I recommend Sheetify CRM to startups, solopreneurs, and micro businesses for teams under five users. Keeping that in mind, Sheetify CRM works for most service-based and e-commerce businesses. Next on my list of top five CRM software for small businesses is monday.com. This is first and foremost a work management platform, now with an extension into the CRM market. What I like about monday.com as a CRM is the visual dynamic user interface that makes managing your database, communication and sales an enjoyable process. Their template automations also stand out, allowing anyone to quickly set up any internal automation or automations with external tools with absolute ease. In terms of ease of use, adoption, and usability, monday.com has found the perfect balance of visual elegance and functionality. Key features include ease of customizations, again, third-party integrations and automations, built-in communication tools, and dynamic pipeline management, as well as powerful column types. What I dislike about monday.com is first and foremost their pricing, which we'll get into shortly. Also, as your business becomes larger and more complex, I've heard from teams that Monday becomes complicated and tedious to use. Back to pricing, Monday's CRM starts at $12 per month. I would recommend monday.com for agile and fast moving small businesses that need extensive flexibility and customizations, as well as for those businesses that have dynamic activities and complex workflows. Creative business agencies and software dev teams enjoy using monday.com for CRM and work management activities. Hey, just quickly, before we get back into this tutorial, if you're getting value from this video, please drop a like and subscribe. This means a lot to me and ultimately helps us reach and help more small business owners across YouTube. Thank you in advance, and with that quick note, let's jump back into this video. 
And last but not least, I want to touch on ClickUp. ClickUp is becoming the all-in-one work management platform that has become the go-to tool that many businesses are shifting over to, also known as the Everything app. I like ClickUp really because it does everything, and I mean does everything well. I particularly like ClickUp automations around sales activities, similar with how Monday automations work. You also have access to over 10 impressive view types for visually breaking down your data sets. ClickUp also makes collaboration a breeze with all the internal tools that you can think of. In terms of key features, again, you have access to many visual view types, AI powered tools, internal chat, emailing, forms, dynamic whiteboards, and more. If we take a look at navigation, the ease of use and adoption is similar with monday.com, yet I would say it's slightly more overwhelming technically and underwhelming visually. It's hard to beat monday.com on that front, but still ClickUp is quick to adapt to and become familiar with. What I dislike is it can be quite overwhelming, especially for small businesses that will end up using less than 10% of what ClickUp is capable of. ClickUp's pricing is simple. They offer a free plan for solopreneurs and an unlimited plan ideal for small businesses, offering everything plus more that your small business needs in a CRM and work management platform. This is only $7 per user per month. I would recommend ClickUp as a CRM for collaboration focused and productive teams that are also after a dynamic CRM for better managing sales activities. Also, larger teams will find ClickUp an excellent solution, as well as for small businesses that are looking to grow and scale. ClickUp can be a great CRM to implement early and will keep up with your business's growing complexities as you scale. However, that is it for this updated CRM comparative guide. I hope this helps you choose the right CRM for your small business. If you want to dive deeper into each of the solutions mentioned in this video, make sure you watch our dedicated tutorials for each CRM linked down below. And there we have it guys, that is it for this CRM comparison guide for small businesses. Now if you have any questions about each of these CRM solutions, make sure to pop those down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this guide all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.